I'm riding, I'm vibing. Keep that same energy when I press by again. I'm riding, I'm vibing. You lost a good one and you can't remember why again. I'm riding, I'm vibing. Keep that same energy. Alright, guys, so I'm back with my journey and a little update. Today is July the 6th. Um, y'all know the previous process because I filmed it. Um, so as of today, where I am <clears throat> with my flight attendant hiring process on July the 3rd, um, which was three days ago. Um, okay, so y'all know I applied for two different airlines. One is owned by the main line, mainstream uh, airline company. And then you have their subsidiary, their smaller one. Ignore all this white stuff on my hand, child. I just got through doing stuff. Um, so, the mainstream airline that I applied for is still kind of in limbo after I did the um, job tryout, the virtual job tryout. The next process with the main airline will be to get a call or email about doing a virtual um interview which is like when you pre-record your questions and they send it into a person that would be the next step for them and then after that for the main line you'll get called to come to an event day and do a face-to-face -face interview you get your job offer and then you start training and then number four steps left with the mainstream they haven't said anything else since the job tryout but the um the baby company that's owned by them did reach back out um, we actually skipped a step with them. They're owned by the same people, so their hiring process is pretty much the same. Um, but I skipped the virtual tryout step, and they're asking me to come straight in and do an interview. Um, so I'll be going to... I don't know if I want to give so much detail. I might one day later give y'all all these other details. So I'm going to leave some stuff out. But um, the smaller company emailed me, said, Thank you for your interest in becoming a flight attendant position at blank blank. Um a subsidy a wholly owned subsidiary of blank blank which means it's owned by a bigger company just not saying no names we're currently having flight attendants at all our base locations which is new york which is lag and jfk i heard lag's airport is way better so if i were to have to do new york i think i would probably do lag because jfk probably gonna be too easy for me um, then they have Atlanta, Cincinnati, Detroit, and Minneapolis. So the top of the top of the top of my list would be Atlanta. Like as far as big locations and base locations, I mean, it'll be Atlanta, then New York. And then I don't know what order the other three will be, which is Cincinnati, Detroit, and Minneapolis. I really don't think I want none of them. I've never been to those places any of those three places um but i do know training for this company is in minneapolis so i'll get to kind of experience what there's like for a couple weeks and see if i really want to do it Be, like if that's a base i will really want um then it said we'd like to invite you to a flight attended recruitment event if you're not selected at the time please do so from the schedule below so they do post publicly when their recruitment events are but when i got this email the dates that they gave me were not on there um, which will be this upcoming weekend. Um, so, excuse me. So the main airline, I can't find like public dates about recruitment days for them. So I don't know if they just don't do them or they don't post them publicly and they only invite only. I don't know. But the baby airline, um, I saw on their website that they have a recruitment event that was supposed to be July 29th. 28th and 29th and I was just going to go to that anyway to go and get my face me in their faces to, to speed up the process um but then they invited me to this one and when I saw it I was like why I didn't see that on the website when I had looked for the recruitment events like this wasn't even an option and it's in the same place that the one on 28th and 29th is so I was like I would have seen that and I didn't see it so I got this invite three days ago I go back on the website today and this this event date these two days are just now posted on the website so i got i guess i got in a little bit earlier um so yo yeah, they'll be this weekend friday friday and saturday i'll be leaving home thursday to get down there um but these are what the rest of the email said my bad um we invite you to flight recruitment flight attendant recruitment event 
select timer date below um and then they tell you the two days the times what time registration will begin um the address <clears throat> Parking discount slash validation may be available. So you just might have to pay for parking. I don't know. I plan on being like an hour, two hours early, and I'll just kick it um, around that area to try and make sure I get some good parking because I don't know how busy this is going to be. Um, and it also says that blank airline does not provide hotel lodging or flight accommodations for recruitment events. Um... And then they gave me like a little register now button where you go put like, um, I'm pulling it up. You pick whichever date you're going to do. Um, so, yeah, you pick whichever date it is you're going to do. Then you put your, your information in there. And then it tells you what you need prior to coming. So, Prior to attending the event, please view the following pre-hiring presentation. Um, and so, I want to say this like a little video clip. I haven't watched it yet, but um, it's like 18 pages or whatever. I said I was going to wait till closer. I'll probably watch it this weekend or something or just watch it randomly during the week. But it say please watch that, and then it say five ten recruitment event information. So it's telling you what to expect, what to do, what to wear. So it says business attire is required, um, which it's an interview. So I don't know who will come in or anything less. Please ensure your application is complete. All applications should be updated prior to the event, including employment history, include past, include past ten years if applicable, and education. My application is already done. I will be bringing a copy of my resume. Um, a couple copies of my resume. I think my resume is probably about two pages long now. I want to dial it down to to one. And then I'll also be making sure I have a cover letter for this. I typically, in all honesty, y'all don't do cover letters for jobs unless they're like real high skill jobs. And I think I kind of told y'all in my first portion of the video that that's really all I've had. I've never really had too many normal jobs, just like the warehouse and skating. Other than that, I've worked at really prestigious high end um like corporate companies and and brands and stuff like that so i have had cover letters before but typically i really don't need them just because my resume is, is pretty good um but i'm gonna do one for this because i really want this job i really do i'm excited um please ensure your application is complete put me his blah 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 okay all applicants are required to bring original documents and copies of the following to the event so you must bring these things and copies of these things um, a valid passport or receipt showing you have applied or have started the application process. I'll tell y'all about that too. Um, two additional forms of government issue ID. So you need to bring your driver's license, social security card, or birth certificate, and bring copies of those things as well. Same thing with your passport. You need to bring your passport or receipt showing that you apply and start the process and a copy. All names must be the exact match on the ID presented. And then an original COVID-19 vaccination card if vaccinated. I have not been vaccinated. I'm going to tell y'all about that too. Um, a mask is optional unless required by state guidelines or the location. So if the place that the event is held requires masks, you'll have to wear masks. So I'm going to bring all that. Please prepare to be at this event for a minimum of one hour. We look forward to seeing you. Flight attendant talent acquisition team for blank blank. You're fine. Um, so I'm super excited. So let me give y'all give y'all the juice on like the required the stuff requirements and stuff that you gotta have. So okay, so the COVID vaccination stuff. I'm not vaccinated, y'all. Um, I was very scared to get vaccinated when vaccination first started. Um, just simply because mm -hmm, I was in the house. I stayed at the way. I stayed. I kept my body clean like and when I say that I mean internally like I took care of my body so I know some people say they don't matter when it comes to COVID I think it matters it got me through um <clears throat> like I had COVID before we knew COVID was COVID um like right before the word COVID became a thing and it was just a bug going around I thought I had the flu and strep combined with some child I was it was bad but I don't know my family has like 
old, I don't know, like remedies or whatever. So I just, I sweated it out for four days. Like mine only lasted four days. Like literally people be sick for like two, three weeks. Mine was four days, but in and out. Um, I sweated it out. I quarantined. I do that anyway when I'm sick. That's just how my floats have always operated when somebody's sick in the house. You stay in your room. If you need something and you can't get it yourself, somebody will bring it to your door. And you might at least get it from your door. Um, I sweated it out because it was like giving me cold symptoms. So I had a heat pad. I was wrapped in cover. I had a cardigan or a hoodie on. I only got up to use the restroom. Um, I rarely ate. I did like crackers and soup when I could, but I really couldn't eat. I had no appetite. So I just filled myself with water and hot teas and orange juice. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much what I did. But yeah, because I do know some people personally who got the COVID vaccination or at least part one. And they caught COVID like right after. So it just scared me and I wasn't going. So I was like, well, I'm going to let y'all guinea pig on everybody else. And all honesty, that was my thought process. I'm going to let y'all guinea pig on everybody else. And then at some point I get it. Just like when you buy a new iPhone, it come with glitches. So I wait a couple months, half a year till I upgrade. Because hopefully y'all been to fix everything. That's kind of my thought process on stuff, clearly. Because um, I had a job offer for one, um, one of the jobs I've worked with before. It's on my resume. Um, I love this company. I would I, I would definitely go back to them again. Um, I worked with them as an intern when I was a teenager. And then I actually worked with them as a regular full-time employee, part-time employee when I was in college. Um, so, yeah, I love the company. Clearly, I went back and back and back. I think I worked with them three or four years back to back. Um, three or two years of internship and then one or two years of college. Um, something like that, part-time. Um, but the job when they hired me this time was a greater, more, a better position, better pay. It was like twenty something dollars an hour, but they required me to get the vaccination, and I just wasn't quite ready. Like I wasn't as not off as I was before, but I was still like mm, it's iffy. So I turned it down because I, I just didn't want to get vaccinated. Um, but of course, more time has passed. That was like a year ago. Um, now and I know more people who've gotten in and it's I'm gonna say successful but they ain't get COVID or die so I guess that's some success um so yeah but the job that I'm doing of course flight attendant out of traveling they gonna make you get it it's no, no ifs sense of us about it um I am not prepared for all the COVID tests what comes with traveling it's something I don't want to do all the time, but it is what it is. Because even if I was just traveling as a passenger, I would have to get COVID tests back in and back out of the states and stuff. Um, so, yeah, that's my story with COVID vaccination stuff, but I got to have it for these jobs. Um, yeah. Y'all, that's my dog. I don't know what's going on. Man, what's wrong? You all right? Maybe you had heard about you. I don't know. But, um, we're going to leave off. Yeah. But, yeah, it's a requirement to get a COVID vaccination for this job. So, fingers crossed because I will have to do that. Um, now, when it comes to this passport, child. Yeah. Okay, so let me tell y'all something. <laughs> let me tell y'all So, mm, Hold on. So, I told y'all that um, I had done told y'all I was going to originally go to the, our, um, what's wrong my brain? I had told y'all I was originally going to go to the recruitment event that was at the end of the month, end of July, like the 20, 28th, 29th, because the July 13th and 15th, I mean the 15th, whatever the days is, child, it wasn't on there. It was not originally an option. Right. Um, and I was just going to show up. Literally. Um, but like on the website, it tells you the days. But it don't like, like when they sent it in my email and told me to register for that day. It like basically made me an appointment or pre-registered me. But the, just on the website, like you can't click and register on the website. If that makes sense. 
So, I chose to go ahead and go to this one, even though I'm not going to lie. It cost me way more of a hassle because this is literally next week, whereas the 20-something is like two, three weeks away. And that's what I had been planning for. Um, but this kicked things in the gear, but I prayed for it, manifested it, and so... It's, it's here. It's here next weekend. <laughs> um, and so I was talking to my mom and them, and I was like, well, this is the one that they invited me to, even though they do have one on 28, 29. And in the email, it says, if this, these days don't work, to just come to another one. But this one was an invite, and it lets you register and put your name in the Relodex. So I just felt like that was better because the 28, 29 didn't give me that option. Like, on the website, you can't register. Like, I don't see it. Um, so I guess you have to get like this link from somebody to register and be in the list that they will have that the airline will have for registration versus like a just show up like a walk-in right so i have an appointment and i'm not a walk-in so i just said that that was better and because somebody invited me let me go and go i'm not going to not go i'll figure it out so boom um i decided i'm going next weekend now y'all this became a lot because okay so i stay in memphis tennessee i have to go to georgia um to do my interview um and i have a dog and my mom and them be busy so i had no idea what i was gonna do with my dog even like this was all the same stuff was gonna happen on 28 29 but i was gonna have more time to figure it out so my sister just moved to texas and then my big cousin stays in Virginia, which is seven hours from Georgia, and my sister's in Texas, which is nine hours from here. Um, the party says she's in, and I ain't know what I was gonna do with my dog because my mom and I'm gonna be home enough to watch him. Um, so that was my biggest concern is what am I gonna do with my dog? So I was gonna stay in Atlanta for for a while, but because I don't know. I was gonna stay in Atlanta for a month when I went on the 29th, and I was just gonna stay till like the 20, 20 something of August, so July through. I'm um, be here for a month. I don't know how I thought that because when I've been doing my research, typically people get their job offer at their interview or a couple days after, and then your training two, three weeks after. So, if not if when manifest when I get my job offer next weekend. I, did, I don't know how long it'll be before training. Some people's training is fast, like immediately after, and some people's is like two, three weeks. You might get a month, a month before you start training. But whatever the time is, I'm more than likely going to want to come home and spend time with my family. It just depends on how long the time is. So if I get like the three week span, I probably spend the rest of the week in Atlanta because I have family down there. See them. I might drive up to Virginia to see my cousin. Um, and then come back to Atlanta and then come back home. Um, and then shoot, I might even shoot out to Dallas and I mean to Texas, you need to stay in Dallas, child. to Texas and see my sister and my niece and stuff before I head off for training. Um, just, it just all depends on how long before training. So yeah so the plan was originally with my dog maui was i was going to take him with me to atlanta to my aunt house i ain't taking my aunt i was bringing my dog i told him well i told him i was bringing him and then i was gonna take him to my cousin but the goal was to really bring him and then see if she liked him and could he just stay with me for the rest of the month and then if not of course i was going to drive him up to virginia to my cousin to let her dog sit um but it's just a lot of gas y'all i got premium my gas has hell so, but I was going to, you know, do what I got to do for my spine, you know, get it done. That's what parents do. I'm so extra, but, um, so yeah, but my little sister's with my big sister in Texas. They're coming home tomorrow, which is the seventh. Today is my niece's birthday and they're coming home tomorrow. I think only for the day or for the weekend. I don't know. Um, they're coming home tomorrow and... I think my little sister's gonna stay home if that be the case. My son can stay. She'll watch him for me whenever she's here. If she decides to stay, she'll watch him. 
while I go do my interview because I'm sure, I'm absolutely sure, I'm absolutely positive I'm going to walk up at that thing with a job offer, okay? So really, I'm just trying to figure out, I'm trying to guesstimate <laughs> how long before training would start. I'm trying to look, I need to look up on YouTube how fast people train and start after their job offer and just kind of see what the general say. Um, yeah. Because... The baby airline, their training is in Minneapolis. Because um, that's where their headquarters are. So, that's somewhere where I don't really have nobody, which is kind of cool and different for me. I've never really been away from family. Um, even when I have, I did a travel trip by myself, I went to Atlanta where I have family. So, but that was just my first solo trip. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so. And basically, I got the job. Next weekend, I'll get my job offer. I'm just trying to decide what I'll do for training. I think even if I only have, like, hopefully they at least give me two weeks to be at home and see all my folks. Um, but since I've already been in Atlanta for the weekend when I get my job offer, they'll tell me how long before training. And I'm more than likely, I'm just going to drive up to Virginia. I'm going to see my cousins because I haven't seen them in... Um, Chat. I saw them on Mother's Day, but y'all know, like, spend no time. So, I was being at Atlanta for this weekend. Next weekend, I'm going to leave on the 14th. My interview not till that Saturday, which is the 16th. So, I spend that time with my aunts and my cousins that's in Atlanta. See all my people that's there. And then, um, I'll drive up to Virginia and be there for, like, three days. Um, and then I'll probably come back home. And then maybe me... And my mom and them, all of us, will drive to Texas to see my sister now for a couple of days um, before I have to head out for training. So I just want to be able to do all of that, see all the people that I love and all that good stuff. I'm actually going to make a list, y'all. It's sounds crazy. But I'm going to make a list to do by rail and figure out who all I need to see and stuff. So, yeah, but I'm probably going to see about some flights because I do got some miles. Um see because i know i'm driving to atlanta this next weekend but i might see about what a flight look like from atlanta to virginia because who chat all that driving like anyway just the gas is i'm putting up extra miles on my car and it's also i'm gonna be exhausted <laughs> don't want to drive that much because i have to drive to virginia back to atlanta then back home that's like 14 15 hours or something i want to do it um so, yeah, I'm going to get ready to start looking at that. I've already started my packet list for training. And I'll make that, like, a separate video and see, you know, who may be interested in that and stuff. Um, And then I'll make another video. I'm going to tell y'all about, like, packet stuff. So, yesterday, yesterday was the 5th. And so I started my process on the 4th because, so, like I said, I got the email about the event next weekend three days ago july the third and it was like you gotta have some proof that you started your passport application or that um bring your passport i don't have one so i have to start prices so mine an adult book only i did the book because the lady said that the card don't work for something i don't remember what but she was like you don't really need that it's like you know kind of like a waste of money people just do it just to have it so i was like okay cool let me see the book <clears throat> so in all i spent like 166 167 with taxes included um but your passport book is 130 for an adult and then your application fee is 35 i don't know if the application fee is the same price everywhere but i think your passport for the card those prices are the same everywhere but i think i don't know your application fee may vary i don't know based on where you stay like mine's i went to the post office and did my passport stuff i don't know if different states and stuff have the same application fee. don't ask me um <clears throat> so i did all the stuff that i saw online you have to bring um your birth certificate and a black and white copy your id and a black and white copy i did those two things um you fill out the form I have filled out the form as a portion on there where it asked for your mother and father. I thought that was when if you was a, a, a minor, so I didn't fill out there, so I had to end up filling out that there when I got to the register, and she told me. 
Yeah, y'all. Yeah. I had the car right there, though. Because like, I thought my dad was born in Greenville, Mississippi. Because <laughs> that's where he lived. That's all I, I know my entire life about my dad. Like, he's from Greenville, Mississippi. But he was actually born in Clarksdale. So, that was something I found down yesterday. But I'm glad I called him and asked. Um, so, yeah, I got the email on the 3rd and on the 4th. Um, so, I guess I got personally a little confused about the picture process. So originally I thought the picture was included in the price is not because when I called on the third they said that um, <clears throat> the first location I was gonna go to y'all told me that they camera didn't work and that I would have to go to like a Walgreens or somewhere else um, and do my passport picture and it would be like 15 16 dollars so that that didn't even justify to clear anything up for me it made me think that y'all wanted me to pay an additional $15 to do my passport picture. And then when I got to the post, post office to do the passport, it was extra $15 anyway. So I feel kind of a little frustrated because y'all had me running around the day before with my head cut off like a chicken trying to get to a Walgreens to take a passport picture. Because I'm thinking, I don't know, child. Don't ask. I don't know what I thought, but it was an additional fifteen dollars anyway. Whatever. I don't know. That that confused me. Um, <laughs> so anyway, I was scheduling my appointment. So it's like six or seven post offices here in Memphis that do passports. Uh, when I say everything was booked past the weekend that I needed it for. I mean, everything, like, out of the seven, six locations did not have an appointment. And you have to, they do an appointment only, you can't even walk in. Six locations didn't have an appointment until the end of July. Um, and then the location I ended up going to, they had one appointment for one time that I lucked up on. And they don't have any more, they didn't have no more appointments until August 3rd. I said, oh my God, people are really traveling right now. So I'm going to get high. All right. Um, but, yeah. So that was that process. Um, it was a little bit frustrating because there was a lot of people in there that was moving slow. The post office didn't have that many employees. So it was just long for no reason. I was at the post office for an hour when I came on reading. So I don't even know why I took that long. Then the lady, I sat there and asked her. Even my dad, when I was on, the phone, I was on the phone with him when I asked, I asked the lady, I said, "Can I buy a money order with a credit card or cash?" She said, "Yeah, we're both." I said, "Okay." So I was gonna pay the application fee, which is thirty-five dollars in cash, and I was gonna pay for my passport fee, which is one thirty on my credit card. Mind y'all, I don't use number of credit. I'll tell you about that another day. I try not to use my physical cash. Or my money. So I had just moved when she told me that I just moved the money from my checking account to my credit card so that I could open it up and I could use my credit card. Because the more you use your card, the more your points reward, stuff like that. So I just try to use my car credit cards for everything. I'll move my my physical, not physical, but my cash money from a checking account to a credit card and just use the card. So that's what I did right then. And then I get up there to pay and she goes, Oh, you can't use it on the credit card. I thought you was talking about cash. Now, ma'am, I asked you to use a credit card and cash, and you told me both. So how you thought I was talking about one or the other when you said both? You didn't even just say, yeah, and then I could have been like, dang, maybe she only meant one or the other. You said both. But, okay. So I called my mom and them and asked them to sell me some money because I had just put it on my credit card, so I didn't even have it. You can't move it back. Um... <clears throat> so got it done needless to say but it was a very annoying process it was hot as double h hockey sticks um in the post office it was stupid hot like i was sitting there fanning myself with the photo also for those who may not know like i ain't know i ain't know nothing about this they take your birth certificate i thought they just wanted copies of it no they take your physical original birth certificate and mail it in with your passport and then she said the passport people gonna mail it back, um, but she didn't say it would be mailed back with the passport. So I don't know, but it'll be back, I guess. 
um and then my passport i did regular because i'm not traveling anytime soon so it's 8 to 11 weeks because i, and I just did that because i didn't know if it mattered um i didn't know if it was like a different price to speed it up i saw something like that on the website like the times or how fast you made it but um that passport was getting me 200 dollars already i wasn't trying to pay any extra i really wasn't when i got a rush to get like go to out of town next weekend you know so yeah so i just hadn't budgeted to go next weekend so my money kind of everywhere i did some stuff that i probably shouldn't have done but i didn't know so it's not really that i should have done it i just i didn't know but yeah so that was my passport getting my passport experience i'm super excited to get it and it's yeah i'm already looking for little cute little pink little passport books because y'all know it's it's the pink and the purple but i mean um so yeah super excited so i gotta start looking up if y'all ain't seen that video y'all ain't gonna know what i was just about to say but i'm going to land next weekend when I get my job offer, it's going to be X amount of time before training starts. I hope I get, like, a good lengthy amount of time because I would like to go see all of my family before I do training. Just because I know me. I did my first solo trip at the beginning of this year, like, in January of 2022. And I was gone for three, four days, y'all, and I was homesick. Like, I was calling my mom and every day, what y'all doing? What y'all doing? FaceTime me. I want to see y'all. Like, I was homesick. So, for four to six weeks of training, yeah, I'm going to be in my feelings. But, you got to do what you got to do to live the life you want to live. So, hopefully, I get about two, three weeks before my training starts. Um, if that happens, I'll be grateful for that much time. Even if it's just two weeks, I'll be okay with that. And if it's a week, I might cry. I ain't going to lie to you. But, yeah, so this weekend while I'm down there down there from the 14th to at least the 16th in Georgia because I'm going to leave on the 14th so that I can get a little rest before the interview on the 16th um, and then depending on when they say my my um, training is I might stay an extra day in Georgia that Sunday so I might stay Thursday through Sunday in Georgia spend time with my aunt and my cousin there and then I may drive or fly up to Virginia to see my cousin and then back to Atlanta get my car come home and then go to back to Texas to see my sister before training so we'll see y'all you ain't trying to get a bag and deal cause see I ain't got time